Today we're looking at setting up a basic network with a FortiGate, a FortiSwitch, and a Forta AP. Hey everyone, if you're new here, I'm Gregobyte, and I talk all things network and security, and focusing lately on Fortinet solutions. So I'm a visual person, so I wanted to break this down for you, how I've got this set up today. We've got our FortiGate 90G set up, hooked up to the internet. It's hooked over on port A to the port 8 of our FortiSwitch 108F FPOE. Then on port one, we have our Forta AP hooked up using PoE. And right now, the only thing that's configured is that basic configuration we've done in the first couple of videos with the FortiGate 90G. So we'll hook up the Forta switch, which is currently not configured at all, and the Forta AP, which is also not configured at all. First off, let's double check which ports are our Forta link, just to make sure. So we can see here at the top that we've got Forta link with members A and B and we've got A currently connected. Before we do anything else, let's go turn on the wireless and switch controller. If we go to system, feature visibility, and then turn on the switch controller and the wireless controller, and then hit apply. You'll see now over here on the left that we have Wi-Fi and switch controller. If we drop that down. The first thing that we're gonna to wanna to look at is the FortiLink interface. So if we look at this right now, this is just set to the default. Uh, it's using the IP space of 10.255.1.1 slash 24, and it sees one Forta switch currently connected. By default, uh, in a secure state, we don't want to authorize new devices, so we've got that turned off currently. We do have the ability to do split interface, which is something you might want to do, and we've got DHCP set up. Now, FortiLink is going to be the type of protocol that we're gonna to use to communicate with our Forta switch. So this is purely management and configuration. So we'll move over into the managed Forta switches. And in here, you can see that we have one unauthorized switch. So if we click on this, we can actually go and choose to authorize it. Now that we've authorized this, it's going to sync up with this device and it's going to start giving it a configuration. Right now, there is nothing configured. After a minute, we've refreshed the page and our Forta switch is online. We can even see that it's connecting from an IP within the subnet that was in FortiLink. So the next thing we're going to look at is actually the Forta switch VLANs. By default, we have a handful of different VLANs pre-configured, VLAN 1, and then a lot of the top VLAN IDs. We're not going to use any of those today. What we're going to do is going to create a VLAN for the Forta switch administration. If we go to create new, create a port AP VLAN, we're going to choose to call this VLAN 60. We're going to give it an IP address of 192.168.60.99/24. Inside of here, we'll turn on ping administrative access as well as the security fabric connection so that it can talk over CAPWAF. We'll turn on DHCP server which should grab the IP space from the IP that we created earlier. We're gonna have device detection turned on. And other than that, we're gonna leave everything else the same. Okay, so we've got the Forta AP VLAN created. Let's go over to the port and change it over into that VLAN. We'll head over to Forta switch ports. We're going to go to port one because that's where our Forta AP is hooked into. And we're going to change the native VLAN from the default Forta link over to the Forta AP VLAN that we created. We're going to apply that. So now our Forta AP has uh, DHCP that it can hook into. Now that we've done that, let's go over to Managed Forta APs. And we should see that a Forta AP is waiting for authorization. So let's click on that. And just like in the Forta switch, we're going to authorize it. I'll right click it and select Authorize. Now this is also going to take some time to get updated with the configuration that is created inside of this FortiGate. So while it is figuring all of that out, we'll go create that. We'll head over to SSIDs, create a new SSID. I'm just going to name this one example SSID, but that's not actually the SSID that will be broadcast. We'll change this IP space to 192.168.61 one slash 24. We're going to turn on ping 
But for this, we're going to expect that there are no admins, so we don't want to turn on any web access or anything else. We'll turn on DHCP server, which again, will have the IP space based on the address for this SSID. And then we can change the SSID that is broadcast down here. We'll type example. Let's scroll down a bit further and we'll set a password for it. And it'll just be coordinate. We're not going to set any VLAN IDs here. We're just going to keep it like that. We'll hit OK to apply it. And now we've got a tunnel SSID. That's the default mode, and that's what we're going to use. If we double check our Forta AP profiles, we'll automatically see the default Forta AP 231G profile that was created. And the thing that we were really looking for is to see we are using tunnel SSIDs in all of the radios. Tunnel, tunnel, and tunnel. So that's what we want because we created a tunnel SSID. If you want, you can go manual on yours but that's what we're going to do in this one. Let's check out our Manage Forta AP and see if it's connected now. So after a little while, we can see that our access point is up and running and we're running on channels one and 165 and we don't have any clients running right now. So the next thing that we need to do is actually allow this traffic to talk across. So we'll go to our policy and objects, firewall policy, we'll create a new one. Name it wireless. Select the incoming interface as the example SSID and let it go pretty much anywhere. Not a secure design, but it's just for testing. We'll do source and destination of anything and a service of anything. We're going to accept it. We'll use NAT and we're not going to do any filtering on it right now. We'll log all sessions right now and hit OK. I'll drag this above my testing policy, which is just a fail open. Now let's take a look and see if we can hook up into this wireless network. We'll turn on my wireless card. And we'll connect to this example wireless. I had already typed in the password, but now we're connected and secure. If we go to wireless and switch controller and look at Wi-Fi clients, See that we can see my computer, which Forta AP it is connected to, and a bunch of other information about it. So now we have one SSID configured on our Forta AP, which has access to the outside world, but our Forta switch still doesn't have a VLAN that can be used to get access out for wired clients. So let's go back to Forta switch VLANs, And we can choose to either utilize this default Forta link, which is the default VLAN, but it is VLAN 1. We could choose to use this default Forta link VLAN 1, which currently does not have an IP address assigned to it, and change that over to something else. Or what I like to do is create a new VLAN. So we'll go to Create New. Name this Wired. Give it a VLAN ID of 70. And just like before, we'll give it a 192.168.70.1/24. We're going to turn on the ability to ping. We don't have any downstream uh, Fortinet devices that we would expect, so we're not going to turn on Security Fabric connection. And we're going to turn on the DHCP server, which should fill out this information. I would still like to detect different devices on here, but nothing else. Go and select OK. And now you can see we have a wired VLAN. We just now need to apply it over at our port switch ports. So we'll go to ports two through seven. I'm just going to hold shift to select all of those. And we're going to change over the native VLAN from default Forta link over to wired. And I'll apply that. And now I can see all of these ports have a wired port on here. Just like we did with the Forta AP, we'll need to go into policy and objects, firewall policy, and then create a new, we'll call this one wired. Using the wired VLAN. And 
allow it to go to anything, source of anything, and destination of anything, or the service of anything. So we'll add it, we'll log all traffic, hit OK. And I'm going to drag this again above my testing. So I'm going to switch over my wired port into this device and we'll see what we can do. So now that we've disconnected the wired connection, let's test out that wireless connection that we had before. So we'll just go to fortinet.com and we can see that we got access. As we connect back over into, we'll go into port seven, since it was ports two through seven, that was enabled. I'll go and turn off my wireless. That gave us a good sign. We'll turn off our wireless here. And again, we're going to go, uh, let's go to fortaguard.com. We can see we can get out to websites. All right, I hope that was helpful for you. Uh, and setting up a really basic configuration with a switch and an access point with your FortiGate. If you've got a different network that you'd like to see me test out and set up, let me know in the comments below. I'm always looking for unique different use cases and even common use cases that I may not be thinking of. If you've got a Fortinet stack today, is this how you've got it configured or is it something else?